What is up everybody, welcome back to the 10th episode of Life of the Lord. Uh, first of all, some friend requests we have from Lil Tom and Hammer of Just. Also, we have a little gift, hot day gift. I think there is a hot day gift every single day this upcoming week. You should check that out. Let's see what we get. And nothing really special. That's fine. Also, a mystery missile, bear punch. 500k, easy peasy. But anyway, for this episode, I uh, don't have that much time, so I can't be training a whole bunch. So I'm going to try out the new Monster Pie Extreme uh, because I saw a lot of people, or thought maybe two people, I thought it was, uh, write about the Monster Park. It has been revamped, so I'm going to check that out. I cannot get there from here, so let's just go to Leaf real quick. And uh, while I'm doing the new Monster Park, I will just be answering the comments. So let me start off by getting full stars, even though it was actually full. All right, quick move, and you cannot get there from quick move. And it's over here, maybe. Yep. Much bike stream. I haven't tried it before, so I'm not quite sure what it is going to do. But I did see a video on it uh, real quickly, and you can get different rewards depending on what day it is. Today it is Monday, so you can get some kind of crafting material. That's fine. Let's take this quest. You have to clear it 77 times to get some kind of metal. And let's just jump straight into it. Do we have enough potions? Yeah, sure. Probably going to be fine. We have a uh, chat request from this guy. Yo. <laughs> and we've just been invited to the chat by Daniel. If you can, if you guys didn't know, it's because there are two people going on my videos that has a name that I cannot uh, pronounce and this one is uh, Daniel It's once 33 About to do monster park extreme Okay, so I'm just about to do monster park extreme with mr. Peter or Daniel, but it turns out you can only do it once so uh, I'm just gonna do it alone Okay Let's see which one we can do. You cannot be in a party. So we have to be alone. Yeah, okay. And we have level... Should we just do for our level? Or just above our level? You have two flea... So you can... Can you do it two times a day? I don't know. No. Fuck it. Let's just go. Yes. Yep. Yep. There we are. And... Really nice you guys wanting to uh, give me Holy Symbol and uh, those sorts of boss in game, really appreciate that. But unfortunately I was in just before he could uh, say that he wanted to give me it. But let's just take the first con of the day, it is from the... Which one is it? It is from... It's from Daniel and he says I'm the other one from Israeli, I'm Daniel. And do you have another Maple account? Um. Me and my brother have a another account that we use to uh, do Kana farming on, so we could have a Kana. While just got text, gonna turn that shit off. But that we use so we could farm with a Kana on our other computer. All right. The second question of the day is going to be: So this is also oh, is this Nightlord going to be your main in the reboot server? And uh, yep, it is going to be. And he also says try the new Monster stream. And that is exactly what I've been doing. And it's because I saw that you guys told me to try it out. So uh, it's uh, y your guys is uh, doing, I guess. All right, then we have one from that gamer and says, and Tim, will you be playing Maple Sword 2 when it comes out in July? It doesn't come out in July. It is July right now, right, isn't it? If it comes out, I'm going to be playing it 100%. But I didn't know they had, have they announced it yet? I don't know. If they have, I'm definitely going to be playing it, that's for sure. And uh, these mobs are pretty fucking easy, so I'm going to try the the stage after, or the harder one after this one, for sure. Then we have one from Ray999, and he says, Timsa, I freaking love you. <laughs> love you too, bro. 
and I have to scroll up to see the next comments. So I'm gonna do that real quick. We have one from Mufasa and says, Hey, just started on reboot. What do you suggest for starting link skills? Um, so the most important link skills I think are the uh, Kana. Be sure to make, I'll, I'll just say make the Kana first because you can also use that for meter farming later. And the Kana has a link skill that gives 10% more damage uh, when it's level 120. I also have it on this character. The Demon Avenger gives the same one 10% uh, damage as well. So that's also a very good one to have. Another one is um, Phantom gives 10% or 15% crit, I'm not quite sure when it's level 120. All of these link skills also give something at level 70, but it's just better level 120. And you can also do it 210, but that's a little overkill, I think. Other than that, Xenon also has quite good one. It gives 5% old stats, I think it is, um, or 10% when it's level 120. It's also quite a good one, but you can check out a guide or something, and you can see all of them. There's a whole bunch, of like 25, something like that, I think. We can still bust. Does this, this drop anything? I don't think anything in here drops anything before it is finished. And how much is that? 7 million XP is that? That's an okay chunk, I guess. Then we have one from Tom. Hicks and he says, Love your bitch, just wondering what is your favorite class? Um, I really enjoy the thief class of all. I think those are really nice. And generally, I think a lot of classes are pretty cool. Uh, also, Kaiser, I think it's pretty nice with the uh, mass hitting spill. I also really like warrior class for some reason. Um, so, I, I just like a lot of classes, but if I had to choose like a branch or something, it would be uh, Thief classes. I think those are really awesome. And I'm almost out of potions. Do I have anything else to use? I have some power access. Nice. Next question is from Danish Ann, and he says, Was that short video on RNG just for the link skill? Uh, I pretty much just wanted to try it out. And then it is also quite nice to have uh, another character card. I had two warriors in one deck. And then the third one would be the Aaron, so we finished the Warrior set, which is quite nice. And I also just want to try it out. I have been doing the power leveling series on other characters as well. And I'm not quite sure. I, I think I'm going to level up to 120 as well uh, to do the video and also have the S rank card. So that's probably going to be sometime soon. Then we have one from Alex. Casillas and he says I got the pocket item from Hilla, but it says I need to level, be level 30 charm to unlock the pocket slot I have no idea how to do that uh, Can you please answer it? Would be very appreciated And as far as leveling charm I'm actually not quite sure how to do it on the reboot server On the regular servers You just went to the free market and bought the cheapest Golux items um, You could find and just equipped it and it would, would give like 100 charm oh, Shit I almost died there and you just kept on doing that over and over. Okay, so this is editing Tim uh, with another answer because that was a crutchy answer, didn't really answer anything at all related to reboot. But I found two posts on Reddit that can uh, help you out. I'll link those in the description. Check that out. One of them includes uh, farming a lot of cologne, which is some kind of trade potion. The other one is farming trade coins, I think it was, and also equipment and members. But you can check those out in the description. I'll link them for you. No problem. See you, bro. Got a little uh, little buff from this guy. Really, really awesome. It's Daniel. Shout out to you. Let's go to the little harder one this time. Check that out. See how that goes. Then we have one from Akuma Kishin, and he says, or she says, "What is your opinion? I guess it's what your opinion on Angelic Buster. I really love them. Uh, I think they are quite awesome. I used to actually main it a long time ago on Broa." It was before they had the uh, increased amount of lines on their Trinity. So it was not the best class back then because they only could hit one uh, line. But I thought they were awesome. Really enjoyed the uh, the huge raw spell mobbing one. thought that was really awesome. And I liked doing huge amount of damage with not that much funding because they only did one line or two lines. Then we have one from Shivers Cold. And he says, hey Timsa, when you go to your life ball, you can accept a quest that gives you a little 100 emblem that you can cube 
Also, if you want, my guild is more than happy to accept you in. We have a bunch of people having a good time, and we will happy to help you buzzing. Oh, what am I doing in game? Uh, keep up the amazing work. Yeah, sure. Just invite me to the guild. I don't know if I have to uh, find myself or you can just invite me, but sure, I'll join your guild. That would be nice. And uh, should we check out this emblem real quick? Okay, I don't know what it's called. It's 35. Let me know the, in the comments which quest it is and I'll definitely check it out. And also it says, oh, I forgot my guild name is Anuma Alumni and my IGN is the one cold. Should I try to find Alumni right now? Search name Alumni. Don't die. Shit. There we go. Uh... I'm just request that. There we go. And the next one is from Best Gangster Ever. He says, What is the best class to choose for unfunded players and to have fun? Um, Demon Avenger is a very good class. I don't, I'm not quite sure if it's the best buzzer later on, but it's definitely a Sigma over and does a whole ton of damage, as, and you don't really need to have any cuts as well um, because they have a spell that heals them up full HP. So if you don't have that much meters and you don't want to buy potions, that's also a good alternative. So you can try out that. In terms of a class of fun, I would say uh, a combination of fun and good right now would be Aaron and Aaron because they are pretty sick and uh, they do a whole ton of damage as well. So you can check that out. And I can see I missed two comments from the start actually. Uh, we have the first one is from the one guy I can't remember that's not Daniel. And he says, the new monster park is this shit right now, train over there. Yup, and then we have, by the way, I'm not Daniel. No, <laughs> I found out now. And we have one. I've been invited to the guild. Welcome. Thank you. Happy Smiley. Then we have one from that gamer and says, so Tim, when are you creating your guild? Um, I guess I could be creating a guild in the future. If that's what a lot of people want to join, then I could definitely do that. Uh, Right now, I've just joined Alumni actually, but uh, maybe we'll make a guild later. We'll see. And uh, that's it for this video, guys. I will just be finishing this with a little speed up, and that's going to be it. I guess you have to finish the actual monster pack uh, before the time runs out, otherwise you won't get an XP. That's a little tip for you guys. Maybe you should take a, <laughs> something, uh, you know, a stage that you can actually hit. You saw I missed on the monsters a whole shit ton, so I couldn't actually kill the mouse before the time would run out. So I didn't get anything out of that, a little bit waste of time, but that's how it is. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.